begin tonight with the story of Martin Langlands and an outstanding act of bravery. An August night on a dimly lit stretch of the M5. The Kahn Springer family were setting out on holiday, unaware of the terrible events about to befall them. We were travelling in the middle, middle lane of the motorway and there was a big bang. And the car went completely out of control. I was desperately trying to get the car under control and the car started fishtailing quite heavily from side to side. Witnessing the accident in the car behind were Martin Langlands and his wife, Claire. I, I seen it happen straight away. As soon as it went, there's no way you could control it. I really thought we were going to die. A tyre blowout had sent the family's car smashing into the central reservation. And I swerved off and hit the heart shoulder and all I could hear was a woman screaming. With its lights knocked out, the car was barely visible and lying diagonally across the fast lane, directly in the path of oncoming traffic. I knew any minute another car could come and hit me, standing on the motorway with my baby. I was in complete panic. There were still cars zooming past. As far as I knew, my son and my partner were still in the car. And then I just went for it. Couldn't get straight back across because cars kept flying through. He shouted, go now, cross now, go. Although Rebecca and her baby daughter were now safe, her partner Darius was hurt and in severe shock, and both he and their three-year-old son, Jacob, were still in the line of onrushing traffic. I thought, if you don't move, the car is going to just come smashing through their car and they'll be killed. And I knew I just had to make a break for it to get across to them as quick as I could. As soon as I ran across, you know, I opened the back door, and just put his arms up to me, you know, and then he seat belt and back them up. But with cars hurtling towards them, they still had to face the journey back across three lanes of the motorway. My heart was in my mouth. Every car that went past, I was hoping that it didn't hit. And then we just went. Only moments after Martin brought Darius and his son to safety, a car ploughed into the family's vehicle. Martin's actions were extremely brave. I have no doubt that if he hadn't taken the action that he, he took, then uh, the members of that young family would have been seriously injured or possibly even killed. Martin did risk his life to save our family. There's no doubt about it. He, he could have been hit by a car by, while pulling myself and my son out. Hey, when I think back now, I'm so thankful to Martin for having risked his own life being so brave and so calm in rescuing my children. And here he is, Martin Langland. selfless and you are wonderful. Would you do it again? Of course I would. You I, would? Yeah. I would just park my car a bit further down next time. <laughs> <laughs> because the car that ploughed into uh, the family's car actually went and yeah, wrote well, yours off, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, did you? Yeah. Okay. It's always love. Wonderful to be here and I know your wife Claire, she's, uh, she's so proud of you. Absolutely proud of you. Well, to present you with your award, another gallant knight. He's been nominated for an Oscar in every decade since the 1960s. Now, he's rehearsed me on this. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> Please welcome Sir Michael Caine.
This is really humbling for me. I, 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 I can't understand how you did that. I mean, that's, it's one of the most brave and compassionate things I've ever seen anybody do. It's quite extraordinary, quite extraordinary. And it's, with such humility, I, I give you this. I, I think you're an extraordinary young man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. And I don't know what to say. I just did what everyone else would do. I um, just thought my actions were of a normal person, but obviously they're not. Thank you. No, they're not. They're not. You're the bravest person we've ever seen. Carol wants her microphone back. I do. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that, Michael. Because there are some people who especially wanted to come and thank you personally tonight. The family whose lives you've saved. They are Darius and Rebecca and their children, Jacob and Jasmine. And I know you haven't seen each other since that time. No, I've not seen them at all. No. Like... Much nicer way of seeing you this time. It's lovely to see you again. Thank you. And these two are so much bigger. <laughs> Thanks to you. Don't want to see. Do you have anything you want to say, Darius? I think we're very lucky to be here to celebrate uh, Martin's hero heroism tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think of all of this, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jasmine. Hello, darling. What do you think of all the pretty ladies out there? Mummy! No, I'm not Mummy. <laughs> That's Mummy! And is it nice here, darling? Yeah, you wanted to dance. <laughs> she wants to dance. She saw diversity and she wanted to dance back there. Congratulations to Martin Lyons.